Jamie Moore, former British Commonwealth, Irish and European line middleweight champion. Fight of the year three times, retired too early, but uh, ended up getting a good job with Sky and uh, doing all right. How do you see striking an MMA? How do I see it? I see it as a, a, a growing sport. I think it's exciting. I never thought I'd enjoy it until I started working with the guys at HFFS. I started work, helping them working with the hands and stuff. And uh, the more I've got to know about it and learn about the, the tactical side of it and, and what the, the lads are actually trying to do on the floor, uh, I found it more interesting. And the more I've come to it, the more I've started to enjoy it. So, uh, so it, it's turned me into a fan in a, in a in a weird sort of way, not from watching it on TV, but from actually being involved in it, and then I've now we enjoy watching it. So, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. Uh, as like a, not as a critic, but what would you say is the most common mistake that MMA fighters are making with their hands? Uh, I think they reach a little bit too much. They don't use the feet to get in, into range, but I understand why they don't because they don't want to leave themselves open to, to to get taken down and stuff yeah. like that. So, so it, it again, it's the technical side of it. I've learned through actually going into things and trying to get the lads to do stuff and they'll go, well, you know what, we shouldn't really do that. Yeah. Like rolling the head, for instance, you know, you're not supposed to dip down and roll down because you might come down into a kick on a knee, so. Yeah. There's, there's loads of different stuff. I, I understand why they can't do certain stuff, but at, at the same time, they should really be, be uh, brave enough or confident enough or try and bring it into, the, into their arsenal because if they could use it, it'd be a massive, uh, a, a massive benefit to them. So, Driving off the feet fast is one of the main things what they don't do. They sort of reach over and try and lean with the shots. And if you see, a lot of the successful guys in the UFC are real good with the hands. So, so I think um, they, they, they can definitely be a, a big improvement on it. But uh, I certainly wouldn't like to uh, take a shin kick to the head, that's no. for sure. If you were to say, I mean, uh, what would be, say, what would boxing striking have most in common with M MMA striking? Because a lot of it's behind the jab at boxing, right? Yeah, yeah. So it, would you reckon that a jab is a, as important in MMA? Well, I think it could be, definitely. And I think, as I said there, the lads who are good with the hands, yeah. they've definitely got a solid jab. You know, if you, you get it with a good jab where you're stepping behind it, yeah. and it's like getting hit with a right hand. Yeah. So especially with the timing of it as well. So it's not always about the power and the, how much power you're generating it. The timing of it's a lot, very important. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, a lot of them look for the big right hook around the top, you know, try, try to get, yeah. get the explosive finish. But, you know, it's about setting, setting other stuff up. If they've got a good jab going, they set up other stuff up by being able to take people down or, or you know, uh, feint it and throw a kick around the side of it. So there's loads of ways where you could work off it. Yeah. So I'd, lo I'd love to be more involved if I could, but I run my own gym in Manchester training boxes. So, so I'd love to be involved more in the MMA side of it. I just haven't got the time. Is it, would, you, would you welcome MMA guys to come train with you? Of course I would, yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd love that. I'd love to be, be able to, to do more out of my gym, really. And, and obviously it's, it's time, the timing and the stuff and logistics, where, where people are and stuff like that. So it just, it all depends. But I, I'd definitely welcome people to come to me for help. Where are you? Where's your gym? Uh, Manchester. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll give you the address. Google it, is it? <laughs> do, you, do you have like a website for it? Um, I don't have a website for my yeah. personal site, no, but if people contact me through Twitter, I always, yeah. I always get back to them there. Straight in. Was there something you wanted to say before? Yeah, I mean, well, I was just talking about, uh, you know, the, the help and stuff. Like this Amateur MMA is the same as amateur boxing. That You need all the help you can get. There's all different stuff. You know, companies what are supporting it, CMP. Rygo is a big company, a Mercedes company, which is su supporting the event. And, you know, it's just any little bits like that what can help these lads try and fulfil their potential. You know, because these are the lads doing it for nothing, off their, off their own back, trying to get to the place where they want to get to. Companies like CMP and Rygo are just, you know, they're like gold dust and, you know, it's well worth the benefit.